Well, I'm out here today again in the woods. There's an old house site right over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a rock chimney house. I've dug around it about 15, 20 times, and that's with other detectors. And I've used the AT Pro here maybe a dozen times. But anyway, I've only been here about five minutes, and the first signal I got was this right here. It showed up as a 55. It's a old lantern part, the wick and everything. So that's cool. It could be some more relics here, so let's keep digging, see if we can find some more. Well, I got a good 60s signal here with the small 5x8 inch coil, and it's a pewter spoon missing the handle. Old pewter spoon. That's old there. Most likely colonial. It's awesome. Let's go find some I just more. dug this weird thing. Not sure what it is, but a screwed onto something. But it was only a couple inches deep right there. It's all right. I have a really good signal right here. It's mainly in the 80s. I mean, if I move the coil up or down from where the target's at, of course the numbers are going to change. But if you swing over the exact location of the target every time the numbers will be consistent if it's a good target I mean it still could be trash most likely something brass though it's hard clay dirt there it is just a piece of brass or copper like a this little pipe but it gave an awesome signal Here's the house foundation. Yeah. Part of the chimney. Old rocks stacked up. Pretty cool. And the house would have been sitting right out here. It was a little log cabin. Nothing fancy, but... They still had stuff back there. I just got a really loud signal here showing up as a 70 on the AT Pro. And it's a coin, which I didn't expect it to be a coin at all. Looks like it's going to be a wheat penny. Huh. Yeah, just a wheat penny. I figured there would have been older coins here. But oh well. I'll take it. Let me recheck the hole, see if there's anything else. I'll get back to you. I just found this here. Some type of decorative object. See, it even has a, like a reef design on there. That's really cool. I'll have to clean it up and see exactly what it is later. Well, I just found what looks to be a fired musket ball. Piece of lead, anyway. That's neat. It was only about an inch deep in the clay here. I'm using the small coil, 5x8 inch double D on the AT Pro and my normal everyday settings, Pro Zero, iron discrimination at 22. All right, just dug me an old golf club. It's pretty cool. Never found one this old before. There's something else. be some more. I'm back at the house site where I found the gold ring from 1919 a couple weeks ago. It's on the same property as the other house I was just digging, which was right over there. So hopefully I'll find some more relics that I missed, but like I said, this place has been hit hard for the past three years, and I'm still pulling stuff out with the AT Pro, but other detectors have hit it really hard. Just found part to a clock key. It's missing the rest of the piece, but that would have been the Part that winds up the clock right there. Awesome. Let's go see if we can find some more. There has to be some more stuff around this house site here. Well, here's all my fun stuff I found today. I only stayed out for an hour and 30 minutes. It wasn't long, but like I said, I've been to that spot a bunch of times, hundreds of times, and it still produces with AT Pro. AT Pro is a killer machine, especially around house sites. And you can get in between the iron and if 
find all kinds of stuff, but I found a lantern part, older one. And I got a couple neat things. Uh, the wheat penny is from 1909. I don't know if you could see it. 1909 wheat penny. It's the first year they made them. So that is a good wheat penny find. If it was from the 40s or 50s, it wouldn't have been as great as a 1909. Then I found a weird object here. Not sure what that is. It has like writing on the back there, but I don't know what it says. Went off of something. Looks familiar though. And I got some other odds and ends. I got that weird thing. A little fired musket ball, it looks like. Just the spoon piece, mouthpiece off a spoon, the clock key. Or it's part of one. Wind it up. And some other weird objects. But I think it was pretty good hunt, even though it only stayed an hour and thirty minutes anyway. I wanted to show y'all what I did with the coins I got from New Zealand from Andrew. I put them in a little display case here. There's the Stan Liberty quarter he, he sent me and the, the two Indian head pennies. And I even put the letter in there with it. And like I said, his dad carried these in his pocket during World War II. He got them at an American PX store. And his dad was an airframe fitter. So very neat story and you can also like lift this up and the coins won't fall out so I'm gonna hang it on the wall and it will be remembered that's for sure I'll show my friends all right good luck and happy hunting thanks for watching